Oh, this vlog is gonna be a little bit all over the place, but I'm gonna give you guys some really good insight, details, information, all that good stuff. And I'm super excited to kind of get into what is coming. Normally I would be standing in the place of where my van has been parked the last several months, but the van has been sold. I'm very happy with who it went to. I did not film any of the exchange of that happening, but there was reasons for all of that. Anyways, what is next? What's gonna happen? Well, stay tuned for the rest of the vlog coming up. Here we go. All right, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, obviously consider subscribing, obviously, duh. It's just like what people say and what they do. I don't, I don't, I don't care what you do. You don't have to subscribe. The van has been sold. That doesn't mean I'm getting out of van life. I'm not, I'm not ever gonna get out of van life. I'm never gonna get out of design and building. This is what I wanna do. This is everything for me. Jaritachi Designs, here we go. What we're gonna be doing, boom. I'm still at Mark's shop, but I am moving. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm leaving Portland yet again. I am walking outside right now because I'm about to show my new ride temporarily for, for a little while. Boom. I needed a truck for a bunch of different reasons. For all those people out there that said I was not going to do a tiny house, guess what? I put an order in for a tiny house trailer and a frame kit, which you guys will see all of that happening when it is ready. Six weeks out until I get the trailer and frame kit for it. I got a lot of videos coming up. I've got a new tool sponsorship, which is behind me over there. Do I wanna, do I wanna share all my details? Well, I don't know, maybe. More importantly, I'm gonna actually talk to you guys at my apartment and I'll get to show Glacier in this vlog. And I wanna show you guys the design that I've been working on for the tiny. What is up? Guys, check this out. Uh, this video is sponsored by RV Mattress. That's what's in this box. It's a big old mattress, queen size, here we go. RV Mattress is a brand by Brooklyn Bedding, and they are known for their quality and their comfort, and they're made right here in the US, hence the American flag right there which also means that they do free shipping nationwide. Now, while I am opening this mattress right here, I will explain to you guys that RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding has a variety of different sizes, styles, that you can get for your RV or van. Why did I ask for this one in particular? Their memory foam model, which obviously comes all vacuum sealed, which you're about to see here in a second, but they also do have other models that have a hybrid style of like spring and memory foam in there as well. Now, because I try and test the product out before sharing with you guys, obviously I can't test this one that's in the box, but I have sat on an RV mattress by Brooklyn Redding before, and I can tell you firsthand that it is one of the most comfortable, if not the most comfortable mattress I've ever been on. Hence why I'm doing the sponsorship with you guys. Don't need that anymore. The other reason why I'm not unraveling this right now is because you're about to find out in this video later on that I am moving. So it's going to be a lot easier for me to actually take this on my moving trip. Like I said earlier, these are made in the US, which means all of the Brooklyn bedding manufacturers are right here in the States. They are actually in Arizona, which means they use top of the line, best quality, best products, premium materials that are at a reasonable price for all of you out there. And even better with a price, because if you click on that link below, then I will give you that discount code that you can actually get a better price. Check this out. RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding does offer a 120 night. If you can't do the math that quickly, that is four months of sleeping on your mattress for free. They guarantee it. So after those 120 nights, if you don't like it, guess what? You send it back, you get a full refund. Boom, done and done. But on top of that, you still get a 10 year warranty on all of their mattresses, whether it's a memory, full memory foam like this one or one of their hybrid styles, it is a 10 year warranty. We'll be using RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding from now on, whether it is a van, whether it is actually my upcoming tiny house, which you're about to find out about. So go get your discount by clicking that link below, which I believe is rvmattress.com slash Jared. And stop wasting your time. Sleep comfortably. Back to the video, here we go. I am doing all the things that I've been wanting to do for the several years 
that I started YouTube, that I've started van life. I've talked about this. I've been wanting to do this. I want a piece of land. I want to have a communal workshop where people can come and get work done and I can help them. I want to have several tiny houses where if you are working on your van and you need somewhere to crash, guess what? You have a tiny house that you can stay in. Vacation getaway, if you wanna just stay in a tiny house, whether it's a tiny house on wheels or whether it's an A-frame on a, on a slab or on pylons, right? I want a communal space where you can come and work on your van. I want all of those things, but these things take time. And why do they take time? Because I'm a one man show that I can only do so much. So that is probably one of the reasons why I do videos like that one over there. None of this is really anybody's business, but I do wanna let you guys know that I probably turned down. This is not, I'm not kidding you. Or I should say, I only accept one out of about 40 to 50 brands that reach out to me. I am transparent as always on my channel. I have an agent that handles all of my brand deals. Now those advertisements that are at the beginning of your video or midway through your video or like that, the click ones, like skip ads, I have no control over those. Those are all on your uh, search engine stuff. That's, that's through Google and YouTube, everybody. But when you do brand advertisements like that or what I'm gonna be doing over there, which is a tool company, that is something different. I think she said monthly, 40 to 50 offers per month I get. And I only, I only accept one of those, usually, typically. That doesn't matter and I know that you guys may not care and I don't, I don't have to explain myself. I'm just here because I want to tell you guys this. This is what we have to go through sometimes. Now that that's out of the way. All right, we're taking a break here for a quick second because I just wanted to kind of show uh, the painter's house is never painted. That is a metaphor for those that don't understand that. For people that don't know this, I lease space from Mark at Nomadic Customs and I'm standing in his van right now. This is Walker, uh, one of Mark's employees. It's a weekend, by the way, it's a Saturday. He came in on his day off, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. I'm looking for my glasses so I can see. <laughs> That's what happens when you get old. What's up, buddy? This is your van. Yeah. Yeah, cobbler's kids have no shoes. Oh, I said the painter's painter painter's house is never painted. Well. Whatever. Yeah, same difference. Same difference. I'm going to put you on blast right now, and okay. I'm so sorry. That's okay. How long have you had this van? <laughs> Four years. <laughs> it's been halfway built once. It's finally getting there. Hey, you uh, got power today. I have power and i'm about to have a bed for once and you even hired one of your employees to come in on your day off, you know, his day off. he got a pow day earlier this week so uh so i made Struck him come in he's like well i can work on these other vans where i can help you and i was like help me help me please not a, nothing against your clients but uh you know you know they their vans are getting done everybody oh, yeah. well I, yeah their vans are getting done but also i uh because of portland rent being so high and californians that, stop moving here uh, <laughs> <laughs> my apartment just got given up for uh airbnb rentals so i gotta be out of there in a couple months and rather than shimmy shake and find another apartment, I think I'm just gonna chill out in my van and see what this whole van life thing is like. So you're not just a van builder, you're also a client. I was here when you did this, this was cool. Yeah, I made that two years ago. Was it that long ago? <laughs> yes, Jeez, it just man. popped up on my phone, the little phone thing. I just wanna also point this out that Mark, you um, have pretty much the power system that you kind of promote to all of your clients. I do. Yeah, you're not, you don't mess around. I do, and I'm actually gonna add more to it. I think I'm gonna go, I'm, I, might, I might get crazy and go seven or eight batteries. I mean, you have the radiant floor heating in here by Van Life Tech. Yeah, I'm gonna have a cruising comfort, air condition, the two refrigerators and. This is like, this is a, an old Mark Nomadic Customs maneuver right there. Yes, yeah, this is the original, and then people saw that, and... Well, people saw it on Judy's. Right. right. Ju the tour that I did with Judy's van. Right. So those refrigerators have been there for three years. And they still work. They do. Okay. Is it on? There I got, there you go. Lock. Oh, you got, oh, you got some pie in there. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, Dan Foss compressor, man. I don't have pie. It's like ramen. Oh. oh, is it ramen? Yeah. About to say oh, it is ramen. I'm sorry. I thought, I thought it was pie. <laughs> Do you have anything in there? No. Uh, no, I'm I'm always about the pie. Uh, well, anyways, guys, I just wanted to show off Mark's van, show yeah. that he's not just some some bum that just will, builds out vans for everybody else. Yes. 
pride in what we do here at Nomadic Customs. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, for everybody that wants to know, it's a Promaster. 159 Promaster with the blue wrap, got a winch on the front, two inch lift. So for all the clients that are going to complain like, hey, when's my van getting done? This has been a work in progress for three and a half years, four years. If I didn't get booted out of my apartment, I probably would still be working on clients fans but i gotta make myself my you own. do work seven days a week for everybody that doesn't understand this i do i do definitely work seven and you i think do six roughly here yeah. six yeah walkers here are usually six i'm here usually seven everyone else is usually here five even your girlfriend's employed right now for a hot minute which oh. i can't show that van no no but you cannot that's but. gonna be i can't show any of it can i no damn it i can show it when it's done yes you you can tour it when it's done. The oh, gem of, beautiful. of our, it is so nice. Yeah, a lot of it actually. Thankful to your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so it looks really awesome. It's gonna be custom, a la custom, a la custom. All right, let me ask you this. This is just putting you on blast again. Okay. We're filming this. We're filming this in April, 2022. Yes. Is that van that we're talking about going to be done for the expo event? in Bend, Oregon, which yes. is Overland Expo. It's actually one of the ones that we're gonna show. The, the owner has been gracious enough to um, allow us to show it for that event. Okay, so Overland Expo, if you wanna see the van we're talking about, go to Overland Expo, which is gonna be in Redmond, Oregon. Uh, you have a booth July there. July 7th, 8th, and 9th. Yes, and we will have a booth. I am moving, I'm gonna fly back just so I can go to that event and see this van. That was enough to guys, guys to see Mark. <laughs> And Mark and uh, and Walker, I'm tired. It's been a rough move for you. It's 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 been a rough couple of weeks, man. That's all I'm gonna say. So my mother gave me this book back in 2006. She actually wrote a passage in here for me. I was very stuck in a rut, lost in the world. Um, back in when I graduated college, and I was going out to the workforce. I remember having this conversation with my mother, being like, I'm not happy. She was like, what do you want to do? And I was like, I've never told anybody this, but I wanted to be an actor. And she's like, I fully support you. Whatever you want to do, Jared, go out and do that. Um, and she got me this book and then she read it and she's like, read it. And I've had it all these years. I've had it, and we're now in 2022. So I've had this book for roughly 16 years. I've read it a few different times. It, it's kind of like motivation. It kind of picks you back up. I've been feeling a little down recently. You may be like, dude, why are you feeling down? Like you've got so much going on and, and it's just true. I have a lot of grid things going on. I'm very, very happy. There are things that seep into my head that it's more of an overwhelming feeling. I have a lot of moving parts in my life and uh, I didn't know really how to express them. And to be honest with you, in three weeks time, I won't be feeling like this. In three weeks time, I'm gonna be feeling great. I have this angel in my life. Come here, girl. This angel face in my life that is um, she loves me more than life itself, and I have the same feelings for her. She's amazing. She weighed in at like 26 pounds or something like that, so she's getting big. Just wanted to make sure you guys could see her. And I'm going to read just a couple things before I kind of go over what's on the screen here and what's going on. But at the beginning passage, my mom wrote me this really touching thing here in the beginning, but it's from the ancient scroll mark number three. I will persist until I succeed. I was not delivered into this world into defeat, nor does failure choke course in my veins. I am not a sheep waiting to proceed by my shepherd. I am a lion and I refuse to talk, to walk, to sleep with the sheep. The slaughterhouse of failure is not my destiny. I will persist until I succeed. Um, my mom also wrote a passage in here. She was like, you know, she said that she was very proud of me. She said that she will always remember a certain quote from the book as well. And it said, failure will never overtake you if your determination to succeed is strong enough. I know in my feelings right now and in my head right now, I know if I read this book tonight, I will feel a thousand percent better. So that is exactly what I am going to do. After I take this angel out that is that is apparently dying to go out, she just wants to be up on my lap. She wants to be up on my lap, hi sweet. <laughs> While I am petting her and letting her, she does this by the way, she just likes to hug me. Let me talk about what's on this screen, which is the tiny house that I am 
kind of working over the design for. <laughs> so this is a just a like floor plan design, nothing too spectacular or special with it. But as you can see here, I've got two lofts uh, and I put the bed section that's in the far left side back there, which is the back of the trailer, the front of the trailers on the right. Uh, we are looking on the passenger side right now that I'm spinning around. But the I wanted the living or the bed section in the lower section. I've kind of elevated the kitchen area, which is in the middle. And then the bathroom is going to be to the right. And I'm moving quickly over to other designs that I did. These are just kind of like other messing around, seeing what I can play with. I think this was a either a 20 or a 22 footer that I did right there. And then they've got three others that were kind of just playing around with different um roof pitches and uh, designs. One of them is a 20 footer. Um, but yeah, that was kind of like what I was thinking, what I was going through and, uh, you know, different ideas, different thoughts. And I'm still working through them. This is going to be a long process of building a full on tiny house. So uh, stay tuned for all of that because I am excited to see what happens. What you just saw there was just a, you know, simple explanation of really what's going on and i have officially ordered this tiny house just the frame and the trailer itself i did not order it turnkey obviously i want to do an entire series on it i want to design it and build it myself uh, do some really cool things and features that really haven't really been done in tiny houses or i think that they are dropping the ball on you know what i'm gonna end you with this I personally want to make my content better. I'm going to work very, very hard over the next, you know, several weeks doing research on how to make my content better. Film differently. I want to be better. I want to edit better. Goal of mine moving forward. So stay tuned for all of that because that's important to me. I want to bring you guys the best content possible, not just in tours, but my vlogs as well. See you guys next time. If